Let's face it, Houdini Viewer Pro doesn't look very great by default. Let me show you some tips how you can spice it up. So first thing you can do is press this icon or D and go to the display options. And in here you have most of the display settings. One of the most interesting might be the color background, but you have only these three options. So let me show you how, how you can create your own color uh, background. I would like to give a quick shout out to Nathan Apfel for posting this tip on the Houdini forums. So as you can see there is no button to change the background in, in here by default. But what you can do is you can press this question mark icon in here, go to examples. Uh, Python panel examples and viewport color editor and now press load and you'll be presented with this editor and then since we're interested in the background I can filter settings for the background so background color you can change it know, something darker save and nothing changes, so just move the viewport slightly and there are your changes. And be sure to be in the right uh, color scheme. Right now I'm in the light color scheme, so I need to edit this one, otherwise I won't see the changes. So this way you can edit the color background to anything you wish. So this is really handy because otherwise you would have to go to to the, the files that define all these parameters and change it by hand. So this is really, really handy. And also I should warn you, it would you, you don't see any, this revert actually doesn't do much. So once you change your colors, you can't change them back. So I would strongly suggest to back up the, the default uh, configuration files and you can find these configuration files if you go to your Houdini install directory which should be program files side effects software Houdini your version and inside you'll find a folder called Houdini inside it is a folder called config you should back up back up files called 3ds scene colors and there might be multiple of them so just back, back up all of them. Another thing you can do is if you go back to uh, display options, let's change it to uh, dark and you can also enable fog so this will change the background also slightly. It works best with a black background we can change it also like this as well. And just revert it to my defaults. And once you're happy you can save it as a default and every time you load Houdini it will it will load with this background and all your settings. Another thing you can do is add some point lights and um, create this this kind of light rig setup. have something more interesting going on so just you just uh, create a point light and then you go to transform keep position parenting and parent it to some null and you'll have this interesting interesting scene light and so that you don't have to recreate it every time every time you start Houdini what you can do is just select it all once you're happy with all the settings drag and drop it to some shelf you can create a new shelf or to any other shelf really drag it in there give it some names and it will be saved there forever so next time you'll, you'll need it just go in here press it and you're ready to go 
really easy. And I can also label all my lights. And now I see them. You can also create an, an, an a environment light. So something like this. And plug in some HDRI in there. And uh, for example, if you don't want to see the background, the HDRI in the background, you can just go in here, background, and display display environment lights as background. So that this will turn off the this will turn off the texture, but the light is still on. And another feature that is quite cool is if you if you turn turn this like high quality lights on you can also enable ambient occlusion so that adds also slight detail and you can also go in uh, the display options and it should be somewhere in here yeah and here it is so we have also some setting about about the strongness of 50 doesn't seem to change much so you could probably just go from 1 to 4 so not much but it has a little detail and another thing that is quite nice is you can go to scene and increase the anti-alias sync samples if you need to maybe good for play blast or you know if, if you see some anti-aliasing issues you can crank it up uh, i don't see them right now so i'm just gonna put it back it's it's not very costly so you can turn it up and um, also one more thing is if you create something like this Let me just uh, disable the environment light for a second and also if you want to increase your shadow, shadow detail you can just go to display options and in the lights and increase this uh, shadow map size so notice the, how the shadows get much more detail but maybe if you want to have like this kind of blurred shadows you can also use it to your advantage it goes quite fast unless you have some crazy geometry so that's also very useful Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.